Hello New Albany 8th grade band, my name is Jackson Bowser and today I'll be going through the Star Spangled Banner for Trombone 1. <laughs> So for this kind of video, I'm going to be going through the song by itself with the music in front of me so that I can show you what I see in the music and how to interpret that properly and be able to play it as well as you can. So the first thing I see on here is that we are not the melody for most of it. For the first part of it, we do carry some of the melody, but it's a lot of harmonies and counter melodies to the actual melody itself. We have a lot of notes that complement it, but we don't actually play the real melody. So while our part is important, you might want to back off a little bit so that the melody players, aka the trumpets, might be able to play louder and be heard better. Now on to what I actually see in the music. Throughout the music, I see these dashed slur marks or tie marks that don't really indicate that you're tying the note over or slurring it. It just means to not breathe in that area. In the areas that this does happen, it is a very common place to breathe. So I see it during half notes or a long amount of quarter notes one after the other. And you're not supposed to breathe there or else it's going to sound choppy and it's not going to sound as good. So try not to breathe during there. I see breath marks scattered throughout, mainly at 4, 8, and 13, where you do have to breathe. And those are after four measure long segments, which is usually how long a segment is in music. Now on to the big part, the fanfare. 14 and 15 is where we really need to play out those 16th notes and those things because it's new and it's different and it's exciting. So we are the ones who are supposed to play out. Otherwise, we want to try and back off a little bit as well. Mr. Falk will conduct this a lot differently than Mr. Kuhn does, so make sure you are watching him with every intent to slow down as much as you can, especially entering into 20 and 21 territories. And then for trombone one, there is the 16th note licks right at the end, 22 through 24. Just make sure you're tonguing those. I hope this video helped you to understand better how to play the Star Spangled Banner, what some of the notes and little things in the middle mean, and how to best play it for the entire marching band. I'm excited to see you guys on 8th grade night. Have fun playing, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.